What's up everybody, it's Luke from Archie Woods here. It's the 30th of June today, it's a Thursday, and we're going to go through some of the news of the week in menswear. First up, fit check. Uh, Massimo uh, Alba overshirt sort of thing. Um, just a blank t-shirt. I've got some vintage Levi's, still a couple of pairs of them left uh, in the store. And I've got some house shoes on, I won't show you what they are because they're not very nice. Um, and cardio tank on the wrist. Yeah, so I just thought we'd go through a quick uh, roundup of what's happened in the week. First up is this drop by Husbands Paris. So, if you don't know about Husbands, um, they are easily one of my favourite contemporary tailors. I became aware of them. They did a collab uh, collaboration with Mr. Porter a few years back where Mr. Porter did an amazing video, like a really cool video. And they, they went for a really good period, Mr. Porter, of making just like bangers, really cool, interesting videos, which I just watched over and over again. Um, with Nicholas Gabba, who is the, I think he's the owner, and it just looked really cool. Uh, I might do a, um, like a watch long thing with it soon, but uh, yeah, check it out. It's on Mr. Porter's um, YouTube page. And it really encapsulates what pa Husband's Paris is which is basically a very 70s uh, orientated French tailors, but also it's mixed with Italian design and English cloth, I believe. So they, they put a big mix, but I mean, essentially it's very French and uh, in all the best ways. So yeah, 100% check that out. But anyway, we're gonna look at this drop they had here. So uh, as well as being very 70s and um, interesting. They always have a very interesting website, which is sometimes really hard to decipher. They have recently changed, translated it to English. But yeah, so you can see from the shapes of these jackets, this is a, a classic cut. The shoulders, the wide lapels, and the length. So the straight length, the straight shape of the arm, the length of the body being pretty extenuated, and um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a great look for me. Um, this is really interesting, this cream almost, I don't know, something about that shape, someone about to tell me, it's like feels very boaty, like if you're wearing a straw hat, like a boat hat. But I love the wearing a denim shirt underneath, really kicks this uh, outfit off, it really makes it more wearable. Because I can't think of any places I would wear a stripy cream blazer, but actually with a denim shirt, I, think I might. Along with the suiting, which is pretty much what they're really known for, they they do come up with uh, shirts as well, and they keep them very subtle, like really subtle 70s style, uh, like little little pin lines, uh, little stripes, um, very muted colours that will blend in with with your suit, with, with the tailoring, because that's the best part about with with, suit, with, with shirts you can wear. Um, you know, obviously whites and stuff like that just blend in. But if you have a, just a little bit of difference with like a stripe here and there, but nothing that's overpowering, then it's really, um, it really can make an outfit. It really can give it some depth. So they do it really well with their shirts. Uh, obviously it's pretty expensive. Now the price points, as you can see on, on the screen here, you know, a thousand pounds for a jacket or euros. So that 1,100 euros for a jacket, 220 euros for a shirt. We've got some Husbands Paris uh, stuff in the store. Uh, we've got a blazer, which is a half the price of this, or under half the price of this, and we've also got a suit, which they did with Mr. Porter. It was a navy suit, which is amazing. Um, so check that out. Again, it's way, it's way less than the retail prices, but I have to say, the quality is good. The quality is really good. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Cost and value is in the eye of the cash holder of the purchaser um, but yeah so I, I'd say design wise this is actually quite reserved to be honest like looking through there's nothing here that really grabs me like some of their older lines um, I love the just the silhouettes of the trousers really high-waisted but thin as well and um, you know he often wears often pairs it with like a Cuban heel or a high heel boot with a shirt and a suit, it's just a really great look. And one you don't see too often, even though it's simple, you see it in films a lot, you see it in loads of 70s films. Um, slim little belts, really elegant details. But yeah, just thought I'd have a look at this. Um, and I wanna know what you think. Do you like husbands? Is it, are you even aware of husbands? Because I think sometimes I speak about them and uh, no one really knows what I'm talking about.
Right, Off-White and Church's collaboration drops today. That's one I didn't see coming, but supposedly, uh, according to this, it was teased back in February as part of Virgil Abloh's final collection with Off-White. Okay, I don't know where that was going on there, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> first of all, that's wild. Uh, but yeah, firstly, I, I'm, I mean, I'm not the biggest Off-White fan, I'm not the uh, target audience for the Off-White, I'm too old, I think. But church is probably more my lane. Uh, although I do so, to, so I do really appreciate uh, Virgil's work and his work as a creator. And, um, the LV stuff is pretty decent too. Um, but street streetwear is just not my, my bag particularly. Although I do really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I mean, so uh, you couldn't really pick two more polarizing brands. But here we are, and you know what? I saw them earlier. I saw a brief photo on social media, and I just I was like confused as hell. Like, it, like you know, this is this is made more for the off-white audience. Clear, if that's what it's for. And you know what? If people are gonna, if this is a gateway to more classic clothes, then great. And it's probably a great way for churches to sort of seep in there because you know if the, if you're obviously older people wear white and streetwear of course and that's that's no problem at all but the majority i think people do go through stages in your life where you start to smarten up and you wear different clothes and i think um this is a really clever way to get yourself in there with these with these kids uh, and get them to know your brand and the quality and um i mean it's a wild shoe but you know what if you're going to put the two together you're going to get a wild thing so why not why not you know not something I would wear but I'd love to see how people are going to wear these like the outfit that goes along with it so that's going to be the interesting part and that's probably the thing I like about streetwear the most is it's so creative like you really have to get it right um, and that's what I'm going to be looking at they're £1,200 so which is wild but so is a lot of you know off-white interesting Sometimes I do like rag on about um, uh, collaborations, but and because how like unnecessary they are and stupid they are. But the pussies are so far apart, then I think this is why not to go for it. But yeah, let's know what you think. Is this a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Should the two ends of the spectrum never meet? Or is it great just to be open and just try new things and creative? Have churches besperch their name? Are we going to be all like? Uh, lift, get our noses up at churches, is that a problem? Um, yeah, sound off, let us know. Yeah, so just a quick story, a, a nice little story I quite liked. So, Tom Cruise in the new Top Gun movie, which I'm buzzing to see, um, I must be the only person that hasn't seen it at the moment, wore the original watch from Top Gear 1. So it's an Alfina Porsche design chronograph, um, which is really cool. And all the other pilots on the, sh on the new film wore IWCs, which is way more common. And uh, yeah, Tom pulled the original one back that he wore in that film like 30 years ago. And uh, that's cool. And that is a piece of cinematic history. And it's a super cool watch. You can buy a new modern interpretation of it for £7,900. But that's, you know, for a chronograph and one with a bit of now a story behind it, that's not terrible. Um, yeah, that is the story from this week. But just a quick run through. So we've got a few pieces coming in the store soon. We've got a couple of Drake's pieces. We've got a Gucci suit. And so we've got a vintage Gucci suit. And we have a Gucci modern blazer, which has never been worn before. It is pre-owned um, for a fraction of the price. It retails like two grand, but we're going to have it on. I don't know yet, but it's going to be much cheaper. These bottles of sale, the um, Negroni decanter set, the vintage bottles, uh, they're all on, in store. It's archandwoods.co.uk, at archandwoods on all the socials. Any questions, let us know. And that's it.